today's price. Hi Coffee Beans, hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves. Yo, when I, yo guys, ain't no way, ain't no, ain't no way. Just yesterday I was here crying about how I'm homeless. Well, I wasn't crying, I was actually very happy in that video. I was watching it back and I'm like, yo, I was so happy to say, yeah guys, I'm so homeless. Oh yeah, I'm homeless. I forgot to mention that I moved out of my apartment because I wanted to move to a new apartment. I'm um, a bigger apartment, so everything is in storage. But then I haven't. Now I've been paying for storage and um, I had to watch my dream apartment go off property 24 because someone came and snatched it up and that was also like, it wasn't fun at all. <laughs> I'm homeless and I don't know what's going on in my life. But then, yo... Yeah, no, shout out to God, because one thing about God, like, this year was just trials and tribulations, but to say I was ever, like, rock bottom or, like, depressed or sad about it, I would be lying. Like, I was just cruising through life, just vibing out, even though everything was just <laughs> in flames. But, yo, it's so insane, because looking from, like, January to October... Um, this year, October is my birthday month, by the way. Shout out to all the October besties. Yo, Clarissa, don't break this place. You only been here for three months. But anyways, I mean three nights. But anyways, yo, guys, insane, insane, insane. When I look from January to October this year, I feel like the one thing my life lacked was certainty. Like there was literally nothing I was certain about. There was nothing I was sure about. Like I was not certain about anything at all and I feel like in this season of 2023 the biggest lesson is through all the uncertainty that the world has to offer the one thing that remains constant the one thing that's never changing is God and his love for us like that's the one thing that you can never even doubt or be like ah, I'm not sure even when you're like because I remember in that video um, I'm gonna link the video in case we have some new besties and you know you haven't seen it. But then in that video, I'm literally quoting that first that you know a man has his plans, but then God is the one who decides. And I feel like at that point, I was accepting that I had plans for 2023 and they weren't going to pan through. I was accepting it, but I was still very, very off balance about what was there. If I was to actually accurately depict it, I was say peeking by the door like, okay God, I know it's not my plans, but like, what do you have for me? Because I'm not sure. Like I was still so sure that the plans I had for this year would have been way better than, you know, anything else. So I'm really trying to think, okay God, what's what better things do you have planned for me? And God said, Sit down. I was about to say hold my beer, but then God wouldn't say that. I don't think God would say that. But then God said, sit down, let me show you, girl. And indeed, he showed me. And I think another huge lesson I've learned is um, gratitude. I mean, I've always been grateful. But then the gratitude of last year is not the gratitude of this year. Like, I know if I'd been given such a big blessing in December when I, I had intended to move out from my previous place, I definitely wouldn't have appreciated it to the extent that I appreciate this place now. So, y'all, I'm so thankful. I cried when I got the email of approval. I came here and my voice was so shaky. Even when I was speaking to my friend, my voice was so shaky because I'm like, oh my goodness, like, we are finally here. I once tweeted, like, I genuinely don't know what direction my life is going in because... And like, I don't know where I'm going to be next year and I don't know, you know, what's happening. But then, listen, I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just vibing it out. And I really did. And look where crazy faith and putting your trust in God took us. Like, I'm even shocked that I'm shocked because, like, I knew God was going to pull through for me. I was just, like, very unsure of the how, the when, you know, the what, the who. But then... Well, yeah, and I think, you know what's crazy, 
actually starting to feel hot. Hold on. What's crazy is this morning I was so overwhelmed. I feel like I low key still am. <laughs> it's taking, it took a lot for me to be like, okay, I need to film the intro for this vlog. I need to film um, the whole welcome to my home part. But then, yo, I was so overwhelmed because there's a lot going on this morning. So, um, because actually i'll give you a whole rundown of everything that happened but then i was so overwhelmed but even as i was going to complain as i was about to complain i quickly condemned myself because i'm like clarissa you're here you're here you're like you're complaining about things that can be fixed about things that if, if god brought you here then there's no way there's that quote i love that says god won't take you where his grace won't sustain you something like that so um i truly believe that and I'm just interested in that. I actually am planning to go to Spur in like an hour because going going to Spur does something for five year old me. Like it really heals my soul so much. And oh, today was just so stressful. I was like, oh my god, I can't have my first crying session in this place when I haven't even been here for a week. Like, please, the devil's a liar. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I came about three days ago or well, four days, three nights ago, and. I didn't have anything because um, all my stuff was in storage, so I was sleeping on the floor. Girl, this is literally the worst sleep I've ever had since the last funeral I went to. Like, oh my word. I feel like that was even better because we were sleeping in the car. Right now, I'm just like, oh, my hips are so sore. Like, I literally woke up at 20 minutes to 2 just to tell my sister that I feel so uncomfortable fell asleep again at half two got a little bit of sleep in tossing and turning though and you know i'm extremely tired because i slept in my jeans and i think was cute <laughs> so first day immediately went to go look for a couch because i absolutely love this space like it's a small cute space which i absolutely like it's perfect for everything I do, everything I want, everything I need. And space hasn't really been a big deal for me when it comes to places because there's something cozy and comforting about a small space. It's just a weird, it's a weird complex concept thing I have in my head. However, I went to go get my couch. My couch. <laughs> Scream! Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, I'm back. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> Say hey, bestie. Say hey, bestie. <laughs> it looks so cute. Oh, capture the bag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, guys! So with my couch, I just discovered I get two free scatters. So that's one less thing to buy and I had to pick from all these colors and then I went for one of this and one of this. So I got uh, the Lira Ottoman and the Fiber God White, of which you are getting for free. Yay. And then we've got your one scatter cushion in the Cloud Dance, one in the Nougat, of which you are getting for free as well. Yes. Free shipping has been added, so that would be oh, your that is total. So good. And I met this amazing salesperson called Seven Zile. Such a sweetheart helped me um, with a free tape measure to come measure my space and see what kind of couch I'd want to get. I was actually at Sorora in Cramerville and I'm like, Clarissa, is this you busy shopping for couches in Cramerville? Like last year we were shopping for couches at these little stores. Now we're shopping at Cramerville. It's giving last year's price is not today's price. And then um, went couch shopping. And then I also went to just get like some pillows and stuff like that. And then the big huh, was Saturday because I had to move all the little things that I had from my sister's place to um, my new place and I didn't realize that apart from storage like after I put my stuff in storage I still accumulated more stuff in PR buying of clothes so I kind of had a lot of stuff and then after that I did go homeware shopping shopping from Mr. Price from Woolworths looking for 
um, cute little bathroom mats and things which I really needed in the moment because I didn't even have a towel. I mean, when I was at Airbnb, I was using the towels that were there. When I was at my sister, I was using the towels that were there. When I was at my relatives, I was using the towels that were there. So I didn't even have a towel because all my stuff was in storage. Did she crease it? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna crease that for that. So for the mat, I got this mat from Woolworths. It's a memory foam bath mat, which simply means your feet sink into here. Do you see that? Like it leaves a print and this is what I wanted. I didn't want any other bathroom mats. I absolutely love memory foam bath mats. It just makes me feel like the luxurious self care princess that I am. And this mat actually takes up to 10 times its weight in water. Not like I'm trying to make it wet, 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 but then like just in case it gets wet, I love that I will be able to feel it. So with my memory foam mat, I got it for 400 rand, but I felt like it was such a, a good deal for me. Like 400 for this quality was really good. I'm not sure if I've got the same kind of quality from somewhere like Mr. Price, you know, so I was like, oh, what? However, I didn't get a mat for the toilet area because I don't know, like it just kind of disgusts me the fact that I think the whole point of the mat by the toilet is like if there's any pee drops, but then ideally, God forbid, someone sprinkles pee right in front of my toilet, I'd love for it to be mopped immediately and not to have a mat absorb everybody's pee and, and for me to end up having to be the one to wash it. Like, if any pee spills on the floor, let's just mop it. I don't know, the whole mat thing, the whole mat situation just, it just rubs me the wrong way. These hangers from Mr. Price, once again, I'm also not too much of a fan of black, but then like you can see, there are a lot of black finishes in this place, so I thought that this would be very cute with the wooden feel that's also there, so I love these hangers. Like, um, I have a friend who told me that she's so obsessed with having the same hangers in her space, and I thought, why not do that? So if you want to give me a home, a home, a housewarming, homewarming, a housewarming gift, please just give me the money because I know what I want. I think I also would just be stressed out if I had to have like 700 different colors and types of hangers. Like, it is not satisfying to look at. This toilet brush. Funny enough, in my old place, I had the exact same brush but in white because it was a white and gray bathroom. But because of the black, I decided to get this toilet brush from Mr. Price. And then I went to go exchange my curtains because tell me why at the couch place I also got a free. It's not a reader, tape measure. I got a free tape measure, so I took advantage. And the tape measure was for me to see how my couch would fit in my space. So I took advantage and I measured the curtains. I had my measurements, I was equipped, and I still bought the wrong curtains. And I hear my curtains, guys, curtains are super expensive. But then that's it for today's haul. Um, so I just realized how random my kitchen looks with my toothbrush and my feminine wipes on the counter. But, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. The towel I got from Volpes. Don't laugh at me, but I used to call it Volps. But then I asked the cashier, I'm like, what's your store actually called? And she said it's Volpes. But anyways, um, I got this towel. It's just so, it's like high quality. It's so, I feel so, I feel so luxurious. So I got this towel from Volpes, and I think this is actually their Lux range. I don't know if it's called that verbatim and it was about 300 and something which I feel like is not bad for a towel because towels at at home literally start at 600 rand and then they have these ones which are 900 rand and they're like on borderline feel like a blanket like towel but a blanket kind of feel and I'm like oh god one day but anyways for now I'm so happy with this towel like it literally feels so good just want to show you guys that so for now um, I know in storage, I think I have great towels, but I want to scratch that completely and um, use white towels. So I'm going to get a couple of more. Right now I only have one just so I can shower like, and just be settled in this week. But then as time goes, I'll get more guest towels from a Volpes. So I'm just letting you guys know because I'm about to throw this in the washing machine 
before I use it. So I'm like, oh, it's 350, which is not bad at all. So I'm just throwing this in the washing machine so that when I use it, it's fresh, fresh because you don't want to be putting a towel that has been touched so many times on your bare naked body. Which actually kind of reprimanded me to get like proper guest towels because I always had guest towels even last year but then like you know like proper ones because I really felt taken care of at all the places I went in the towels department and then I got myself a fancy mop oh my goodness from Builders Warehouse and just cute little things so sleeping on the floor was not cute not cute at all like my hip was so sore and I was just like, I was living my life on the floor. I was just telling my friend like it's giving when you only had money for rent and deposit and you didn't have like actual money for furniture and stuff. So I was just sitting on the floor chatting to her and just literally about to cry again. Like, oh my goodness, I can't believe we're here. And just being so grateful. Like, oh my goodness, God, we are here. Like here and also just you know reflecting and thinking about last year i'll be 100 percent humble and honest i feel like last year i didn't take care of the blessing that god gave me which was my place my apartment and long story cut short that place was low-key a trap house like if you wanted to drink if you want to smoke if you want to do anything you could come to my place and um it was well, it wasn't that bad. I'm making it seem like it was so terrible. It wasn't that bad, but I still feel like I didn't respect my space and also just had anybody and everybody coming in there. And I mean, I feel like your 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 where you call home, what you're calling home, should be a safe a safe space and a safe place. And you just can't have random energies and people coming into your space you know and last year i really didn't care you know i wasn't praying for discernment on who should be coming in and who shouldn't be knowing where i am so i feel like with this this time around i'm definitely going to be more private and more be more firm on my boundaries like nah let's rather go out for lunch than doing the whole visit my place i visit your place thing i've actually intentionally tried to stop visiting people just so that um i have a lake to stand on to not have people visit me not that i don't want visitors completely but you guys get me just to just to set boundaries like boundaries are very important but then over and above that my store stuff came this morning i was so stressed because everything was wrapped right everything was wrapped it was fine Everything was proper. I was more concerned about my fridge because my fridge has like a mirror finish and I once saw this picture on Twitter of like the mirror being so cracked and at my place you're not allowed to use the elevator with goods, you have to use the stairs. So I'm thinking, oh my word, like these people better not drop my fridge. But they didn't. The main issue was every, everything was clean when it went into storage. It got wrapped in my presents. Now I'm wrapping, I don't know if people's hands were dirty or what because the storage people who unwrap. But then everything they unwrapped is dirty, like black finger marks. And yo, I wanted to scream. I was so irritated. I couldn't even hide my irritation. And the guy is like, aren't you happy with the service? And I'm like, <laughs> but anyways, I managed to get that done. Now my stuff is all over, but I do have someone coming in to clean just a thorough clean the best part though is that this place is brand new so nobody has ever stayed here brand new toilet brand new stove well i bought my washing oh yeah i bought my washing machine i was so proud such a proud moment because like remember when i bought my fridge last year it was the same thing with the washing machine i'm like oh my god i'm buying i'm buying a big old appliance so i bought my washing machine because the place didn't come it only came with the stove didn't come with like other appliances and I already had a fridge. I didn't mind because I already had a fridge but then I didn't have a washing machine and I'm so particular about the washing machines I use so it was so nice to get to pick my own washing machine at Macro and have that installed and um what else oh yeah we have it installed for a cheap price actually because I reached out to an actual plumber and he had quoted me like 980 whole time there are no extra pipes needed it's just a five minute process so shout out to a man the man what well i call him my uncle because technically he is 
my uncle if you know how in african culture like any man who's like the same age as your father is technically your uncle so i do call him my uncle and um he's the one who helped me transport the washing machine to the new place and he literally connected in five minutes for free and i'm like thank you god for grace i don't take anything for granted even those things that seem like little things like you know it's like oh i saved 980 today that's like a big thing for me so shout out god and then i feel like the best part of like moving in is actually like buying groceries and um just packing stuff into your space it's actually now starts to make a house feel like a home because i remember the first time i came on the first night i'm mostly telling my sister i'm like oh my word i feel like i'm in someone else's house like it feels so weird like i feel like and in someone else's space, so I was just worse. I didn't have my stuff, so it was just so empty, and the echo was more prominent. So I was literally just sitting with my what do they call these things? My knees up, just curled up by the wall. Like, oh my word, whole time I'm like, Clarissa, it's here, it's true, it's your space, embrace it. Like, this is your blessing, and just embrace it. So, oh man. I'm just so grateful like i'm so so thankful especially because god's plans definitely prevailed over mine like you really think you know it all you really think you know what's best for you but then trust god when god says no he's always re redirecting you to something better something bigger like i always say god doesn't say no unless he's got something better planned for you that's why no's kind of give me this weird excitement like oh you said no okay especially if it's something which i really wanted it's like okay cool then we're going bigger but oh man i'm just grateful I am grateful, I am thankful, I am over the moon, I am, yeah, like, I am still digesting it, as you guys can see. I literally keep staring into space because I'm like, phew, I'm just thinking of how just yesterday I was here yeah, telling you guys, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going on in my life, and now I have a whole apartment. <laughs> like, what? So this is just serve as also an encouragement to everyone. Who feels like that their plans for 2023 but 2023 didn't really go as planned i have a love-hate relationship with resolutions now because you know sometimes sometimes just let let it go you know let go of wanting to have control of, oh this year i'm gonna do this this year we're doing and just invite god into your plans to say okay god what are we doing less of the i i i i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this but more of okay god what are we doing this year of 2023 what's our plan what's our goal where are we headed and um watch god move in your life do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think period but with that being said um i know this wasn't really the conventional vlog you guys are used to but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video more actual vlogs to come i really haven't really thought through the whole content thing but you guys are definitely going to see me um put my space together because my couch is only going to come in 20 days and there's still more things i want to buy rugs and other things for the bedroom because my place was very lean if i was to put it that way last year i didn't have like people f thought that i had furniture but i really felt like you know i was living in midrand <laughs> it's all better guys don't cry don't cry don't quote me i just heard i just heard the midrand rumors however yeah i really didn't have furniture i'm not even gonna lie i feel like i had very few things i had enough for a student but now i wanted to be like an actual big girl apartment like can't you see this looks like a big girl apartment so only right and only correct that i get big girl apartment things going on in here but without rambling anymore i love you so much besties thank you so so much um for being with me i mean i wouldn't have even shared this on on social media like normal me wouldn't really have however i felt like you know what these guys saw me crying <laughs> about being homeless. Might as well show them that you know what God comes through because indeed He really does. Love you guys so much. Until next time.